we, we, were, we were some way behind the front line and we had to get acclimatised. It's called acclimatisation. You know, they used to wake you up when you was fast asleep in the middle of the night and you all had to go running out because something, nothing was really happening. And they did that for a couple of weeks. And then we actually took over from, I think it was an American unit, uh, we took over their position. It was called 159, Hill 159. And uh, it was quite a frightening place, really, because you, you slept in what we called bunkers. They, they were about four or five to a bunker, and then the trench system run from each to the next bunker. And you just looked out, and no, there was the hill opposite where the Chinese occupied. Because we was fighting the Chinese. Uh, the Chinese had come into the war. That's, I think, why we were sent there, really. Americans was pushed back, and they needed help, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a frightening situation, because to... to on 159 on the hill, they had a camouflage tunnel road that you had to go down at night to do a patrol in the valley. You had to go through the minefield and the wire, and then you were out on your own in a valley, you know, patrolling and pitch black dark. And it was something you were not really used to. I mean, I've never experienced anything like that ever. And I did go through the blitz during the war, and I did know what was hard, you know, being bombed. But this was different. This was creepy and eerie and frightening, you know. But, uh, Afterwards, when you're young, you cope with it, you know. We had friends, and we used to have a laugh, you know. But uh, uh, we we never really had any action for a while. Everything was quiet, and suddenly we started to lose people. The first boy was killed. Uh, he, he trod on. A, it wasn't a mine in those days. It was a trip flare. But I think they we laid trip flares, and he trod on his own flare, and he was killed. The first casualty we had, you know. And then we started realizing what was going to happen, you know. And then uh, 159 was a pretty uh, rough place, really.